Here is just what I was explaining, but written out in text. Pairs of regions with, where both regions exhibit above average scores, or if both regions are below average scores, these cases will contribute positive ter terms to the summation in the numerator. If the pair of regions is such that one of the values is high and the other is low, then we're going to have a negative term in this cross product. Now we remember, in this summation, we're only going to be, uh, we're going to be weighting these cross products according to how close in space locations i and j are. And in actuality, we only really care about the cross products belonging to pairs of locations where they are neighbors in space, where those pairs are neighbors in space. So if we have pairs of locations in space that are similar to each other, Moran's eye is going to go up. And if we have pairs of locations in space that are dissimilar from one another, then Moran's eye is going to go down because that's going to be contributing a negative cross product term. Everything else in this equation doesn't depend on spatial autocorrelation at all. So this first term and this denominator, those are just terms there to standardize the equation. The only thing that matters really is what's happening in this sum of cross products. So because Moran's I is standardized, very similar to a correlation coefficient, we can also interpret Moran's I like a correlation coefficient. Values near positive 1 indicate a strong level of positive spatial autocorrelation, which means that high values are located close to other high values on the map, and low values will be located close to low values. Values of Moran's I that are close to minus 1 will indicate a strong level of negative spatial autocorrelation. So high values will be located close to low values, and low values close to high values. When Moran's eye is close to zero, that's going to indicate that there's no autocorrelation. So we don't have clustering, we don't have uniformity, instead what we have is just a random pattern of data values on the map. There's no significant level of spatial pattern or spatial structure in the map when Moran's eye equals zero. Here are some cases of some simple maps in their respective Moran's eyes. So first of all, let's start with the random case, independent. So here, the value of one location doesn't help us understand what the nearby values will be. That's why we're calling this independent. But another way is what I just said is that is this is a random map pattern. And in this case, the Moran's I is actually equal to zero. So imagine the blue squares have a x value equals to one, and the white squares have an x value equal to zero. Well, in that case, if we computed Moran's I on this map, it would be equal, Moran's I is equal to zero, and therefore the map is random. Over here we have the extreme positive spatial autocorrelation case. All of the high values are clustered together on one half of the map, down here, and all the low values are up here. In this case we have a Moran's eye close to positive one. It's positive 0.857. Over here we have the extreme negative case with the Moran's eye equal to minus one. And here you see we have high, low, high, low, this this kind of interspersed pattern of a very regular interspersed pattern of high and low values. Over here we have a slightly negative case of spatial autocorrelation, a Moran's eye of minus 0.393. So we don't quite have this super regular pattern like a checkerboard, but this, is, this pattern puts high and low values close together more so than, say, we see high and low values closer together in this independent case. And here we have spatial, positive spatial autocorrelation, but a rather moderate level of 0.4. And again, it's not perfectly split like it is in this extreme case, but we definitely see more evidence of clustering of high values 
and low values than we do in this random case over here. So this is more or less the spectrum of what different map patterns will look like under different levels of spatial autocorrelation.